Good morning and welcome to our About the Town program. Today we are making our stop at 35 East Main Street, home of Clark Photography and Gallery 35 East. We will be meeting owner Rodney Clark, who will be leading us through a short session on how he takes a photo from the camera to gallery ready. Hi Rodney, thank you for inviting us in. Let's take a quick look around before beginning our lesson. If you're all set up, we're ready to begin our learning session today. Uh, what I'm going to be starting with you is a photograph of Saks Bridge in uh, Gettysburg. And uh, this one is a snowy photo that students actually uh, covered in ice and snow. So we're going to start with that. We're going to bring it into Photoshop. And this one, by its proportion, Looks like it's going to be good for a 12 by 18 uh, print. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my template and I'm going to enlarge it to fit the screen to make it easier to work on. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this photo of the bridge and I'm going to bring it into my new photo that I'm going to be creating. So what I just did is I just pasted it into to the photo. And uh, Photoshop has it set up that it can actually do what they call snap to. And what it does, because I have grid lines there, it makes it a lot easier to get the photos to snap in place. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to be making a gallery print for Gallery 35 East, which is part of Clark Photography. So what I'm doing right now is I now have a white base, and I have the photograph on the white base, and I'm going to start to add borders and stuff to it. So since I had a lot of this already pre Create it to make life easier for me. It will go a lot quicker. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start off by renaming my layer one to photo. So that way I quick reference. I know that's my photo. And then I'm going to add a couple of blank layers. And the first one is going to be the border or I should say the photo stroke around the photo. So, photo stroke. Then I'm going to do the border stroke. And then lastly, I'm going to do one that just says name because that's the layer that my name will be on. So what I'm going to do now, since I have all this all set up, I'm not going to go ahead and select my photo stroke and I'm going to take my marquee tool and I'm just going to outline the photo. Actually, before I do that, I should move my bottom guides. So I'm going to move my bottom guides 
So my border will actually flow a little bit smoother. So okay, now we're going to go back to the photo stroke layer. And we're going to bring our little marquee tool over. We're going to come up here to uh, edit stroke. We're going to put a five pixel black border around the photo. And as you can see, if I turn off the guides, there is a black border now around the, uh, uh, the photo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my stroke layer uh, for the border. And I'm going to add a black border to that as well. So this starts to give the final piece a little dimension. So as you can see, now I have a photo that has a white base, a border around the photo, and then a, uh, uh, an accent line border as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my name to the lower right hand corner of the photo. I do it this way because it's a lot easier to what they call stamp it into the photo than it is for me to actually try to write on photo paper. It, uh, uh, ink has a tendency to smear. So I'm going to bring it back to its normal size. I'm going to turn my guides back on. And I thought of a, a title that I would like to use, which is going to be Saks Bridge in Winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of enlarge my photo here a little bit so I can see my text when I go to type. So it's going to be Sax Bridge in Winter. Okay. Now I'm going to go back out so where I can see the whole thing. Now with Photoshop it knows where the center is. So the lettering will actually stop right at the center. So now I'm going to bring it back up and I'm going to center it. I like to center it with the E where my uh, borderline is going to be. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adjusting that up. So now if you look at the actual piece, if I turn the guides and stuff off, I have a line that's going through Saks Bridge in winter. Well, I'm actually going to erase that now. So I'm going to go to my eraser tool. I'm on my border layer. And I'm not going to come up to where I can see Saks Bridge in winter. And I take my little eraser tool and I put it to the left side of the S and I click on it. And as you can see, the line started to disappear. So I'm just going to drag right through it until I get to the other side. And then if I go back out, you can now see that I have a photo that has a title with it. So basically here in about 10 minutes or so, I actually made a photo of Saks Bridge that I can now sell here in the gallery. It's a, a 12 by 18. So what I'm going to do is uh, right now I'm going to save it with all of the layers and stuff on it just so that I have a backup if I would ever need to go back and uh, work on it. If I wanted to make a change, I will be able to do that. So Saks 
fridge in winter. So now I'm saving it with all of its layers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flatten it so it doesn't take up as much storage space. So what that basically did is it collapsed all of the layers that were there down. So now this would basically be my, my finished piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it in a different format. I call it the JPEG format, which I like to use readily. So we just did that, and I am now going to send this to my printer, and then in a little bit, we'll show you the actual finished uh, product. But uh, we do all of our own printing here at the uh, Clark Photography. It's very seldom I ever send a piece out to be uh, printed uh, commercially because I prefer to do everything in-house uh, in because I grew up with an actual dark room in uh, my house and my studio. Now, I just noticed something here that I want to correct. I noticed that I, since I'm working with a white base, what I have here is it's going to be hard for me to trim this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to outline the entire photo with a little two pixel stroke. And what that does is that little two pixel stroke that I just added. You're not going to be able to probably see it in the demonstration but what that does is it shows you uh, it shows me where my cut line is so when I go to trim the photo down I can see where to trim it because this is actually being printed on a 24 inch wide piece of, uh, of paper I can see my stroke around the edge of the photo so I'm going to go ahead and now send it to the printer, which is what it's doing right now. And just about done here. And it's now sent to the printer and we'll chat with you again here in a couple of minutes. So let's do a quick review with close-up shots of how each layer is created to take this picture from a photo to a gallery print. First, create a template or blank photo in Photoshop. Add the picture, in this case, Zach's Bridge, to our blank template in Photoshop. Create a border around the photo. Create an accent line. Add the photographer's name to the photo. Add a title to the photo, in this case, Zach's Bridge in Winter. Remove the portion of line through the photo's title. Add a cutting line to make it easier to trim the gallery ready photo. And that is the steps in taking a photo that has been taken and creating a gallery ready print. Now we'll move to the printer and watch as the final photograph comes out. And the final product being held by Rodney Clark, photographer, instructor for today, and owner of Clark Photography and Gallery 35 East. Thank you for sharing your work, your time, and your shop with us for this program. We are glad that you joined us for today's program. If you have any questions about the process discussed in the video, want to talk photography, would like to find more out about scheduling a portrait session, or just want to check out Gallery 35 East, please stop by. You are always welcome.